Hi everyone welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, the World Bank has recently announced that Iraq has retained its status as an upper middle income country, according to its July 2024 report. This marks the 12th consecutive year that Iraq has been classified in this category, highlighting a sustained period of relative economic stability and growth. The World Bank classifies economies into four income groups based on gross national income, GNI, per capita, low income, lower middle income, upper middle income, and high income. GNI per capita is expressed in US dollars and is used as a key indicator to assess the economic prosperity and living standards of a country's population. The classification into these income groups is crucial for understanding the economic positioning of a country on a global scale and for determining eligibility for various types of financial and technical assistance provided by international organizations. Iraq's consistent classification as an upper middle income country is significant, particularly considering the myriad of challenges it has faced over the past decade. The nation has navigated political instability, security issues, and the global fluctuations in oil prices, which constitute a substantial portion of its national income. Despite these obstacles, Iraq has managed to sustain its GNI per capita at a level that places it within the upper middle income bracket, reflecting resilience and gradual economic progress. The World Bank's report also provides a broader context by comparing Iraq's economic status with other nations. All Gulf Arab states are classified as high income, underscoring their significant wealth generated largely from oil exports. These countries, including Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, and Oman, have high GNI per capita levels due to their vast natural resources and strategic economic diversification efforts. In addition to the Gulf Arab states, the report highlights other notable shifts in economic classifications. Bulgaria and Belarus have moved from the upper middle income to the high income category this year. This upgrade indicates significant economic improvement and development in these countries, suggesting that they have successfully increased their GNI per capita to levels that meet the high income threshold. Furthermore, several countries have transitioned from the lower middle income to the upper middle income status. Algeria, Iran, Mongolia, and Ukraine have been upgraded, reflecting their improved economic performance and higher GNI per capita. These transitions are indicative of positive economic trends and potential for future growth and development in these nations. Iraq's retention of its upper middle income status amidst these global economic shifts is a testament to its ongoing efforts to stabilize and grow its economy. The country's reliance on oil revenues remains a critical factor in its economic standing, but there are ongoing efforts to diversify the economy and reduce dependence on oil. Such efforts include investments in infrastructure, education, and other key sectors that can contribute to sustainable economic growth. In conclusion, the World Bank's July 2024 report highlights Iraq's sustained classification as an upper middle income country for the 12th consecutive year. This classification underscores Iraq's resilience and gradual economic progress despite facing significant challenges. The report also provides valuable insights into the global economic landscape, with notable upgrades for countries like Bulgaria, Belarus, Algeria, Iran, Mongolia, and Ukraine. As Iraq continues to navigate its economic journey, the focus on diversification and sustainable growth will be crucial in maintaining and potentially improving its economic status in the future.